I'd like to show you a tool in Microsoft Word which is called Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader can be particularly useful for pupils who maybe struggle with reading and it helps to change the layout, format, text font and many other features of the page. So without further ado, I'll show you. So in my version of Word, it's on the, I have it under the View tab. So if I click on the View tab, and there it is there, Immersive Reader. So um, let's just go, so from home, I'm going to view, but of course it may be different on your own um, computer or laptop. So if I click on Immersive Reader, and you can see what happens is, is that the page changes. So there's some options here we can use. We've got the column width, so you can have the, the width of the column of, of the paper, or you can actually make it very wide. So let's have it um, moderate for just now. Um, page colour again, so there's more colours in which you can choose. You can customise and make your own colours just there. But from here we can just easy, just as we did before in the other tutorial, just change those features. Um, text spacing, you can, very different options. I'm just clicking on text spacing to go through the, the various uh, site spaces between the letters. Line focus is also very good to help declutter the page and just to sort of focus on one uh, sentence at a time or one line at a time. So there's options for one line and you can move them up and down here. Uh, or maybe three lines. So again, line focus. And uh, syllables as well. So you can see it's breaking the words up. The weather is hot and sunny. So these tools might be useful. An important one is this one here called Read Aloud. So if I place my cursor, let's click on to Read Aloud. All about summer. The weather is hot and sunny. Crops grow in the fields. Bees buzz around. And on this control bar, just at the side here, there's some options. There are, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of, uh, you can't use the Scottish voices, the kind of fixed voices that you've got here. But on the control bar, you can move the Tad text holes grow fo into tiny forward and backwards Tad holes grow into and just to use it to speak. But also, it's also quite useful for writing in as well. So, so not just reading, you can also use it to write in. So just as you would, normally would, just take that off. Baby birds are ready to leave. And then we can proofread that just by going back to the beginning. Proofread. Baby birds are ready to leave. So that's a, a good way to proofread your work. So that's, I'll close it just now and go back into it again. So that is um, on the uh, view bar and immersive reader.